Well, hey there, everybody. You're traveling with Jack, and as I always say, my heavenly wife, Pam, it's day five of my relocation from the Pacific Northwest to Nashville, Tennessee, and you can no doubt see I've made a stop in beautiful, historic Cisco, Texas, birthplace and home to the first ever Let that truck go by Hilton Hotel. That's right. This is where Conrad Hilton got his start many years ago. But I wanted to give you guys a little update from the road, making my way towards uh, Little Rock, Arkansas tonight. And that means that by Friday afternoon, I'm going to be in my new home of Nashville, Tennessee. Trip so far has gone extremely well. Uh, have met a lot of wonderful people, seen a lot of cool sights. And if you'll go to our YouTube channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam, I've been doing a little uh, tours from time to time on there. Uh, I did a thing on The Thing. I toured a meteor crater, and I've also put together a walking tour here of historic Cisco, Texas, just off Interstate 20. One thing I will mention that I've noticed People of Texas, Pam always loved Texas. We lived here for a few years. Our son was born in Midland. And I will tell you, some of the warmest, friendliest people you'll find anywhere on the planet. It's also kind of interesting here that uh, while the country is in the midst of the COVID-19 pandemic and all, and when I was in Oregon, it seemed like that, you know, working in the local news business, people were just on edge. Um, you could just feel it. It just was not a happy sense that I got lots of times. I mean, uh, don't get me wrong, I mean, there are plenty of happy people, but it's a little different spirit here. Um, yeah, you still see people wear a mask when they go in businesses and things, but people are talking to you on the street, they're welcoming you in their stores. Um, I've been actually able to eat inside restaurants here, um, and they still exercise caution, but I'm not sure how to describe it. It's just a different feeling in this part of the world. I know last night I was watching the, uh, watched a little bit of a, a program they had on one of the local channels about high school uh, football teams and uh, a celebratory uh, parade they were going to be having because when you pass by schools here, um, kids are in school. And I was talking to a, a mom and dad this morning about uh, have their kids been in school? And they said, oh, yeah. And I told them how in Oregon our kids haven't been in school since last March. And they said, oh, my gosh. They said, our kids couldn't handle that. And um, I said, well, has the, the virus been a problem? And they said, well, not really. They said in the schools, they said, we felt pretty good about the kids being here. But again, let's not get into political arguments. That's not the idea of this. I just wanted to let you know, though, that it's really kind of cool. Uh, being in this part of the world, um, just a really positive, outgoing uh, society here. Um, did I mention to gas? Holy cow! I'm paying like a buck seventy-five, buck eighty-five a gallon for gas. I even stopped in a local Chick Fil A here, and uh, again, I haven't been eating as healthy as I need to be. But on the road, you know, you do what you can. Uh, but I know it's the prices of the Chick Fil A. Like I got the little breakfast combo, whatever's $4.99. I remember back in Medford, it was $6.75. So already saving money on food and gas. We'll see what else we save on. But that's about it. That's my update for day five. Um, my spirits are good. I think of Pam all the time and having fun visiting little Texas towns like this because Pam loved Texas. So I feel like she's with me. So we'll give you an update tomorrow on the road as we make our way to Nashville, our final stop. Until we see you later, be sure to subscribe to our channel, Traveling with Jack and Pam. And uh, as always, pass it along to others and check out my podcast, The Jack Church Show. Until we see you later, have a great day and a better tomorrow. Bye now.